we were invited to a concert to see our friends play in the orchestra. It's extra special because it's New Year's Day 2023 and we were going to get a chance to celebrate the new year in the iconic Teatro Massimo in Palermo, Sicily. We got to the city early so that we could find a good parking spot and we wanted to walk around, check out the sights, and of course do one of our favorite things, people watch. I think it's fun to observe the passers-by and watch the interactions of the people gathered together to chat and enjoy each other's company. The square around the theater, Piazza Verdi, was bustling with activity and you could feel the excitement in the air. This January 1st, we were blessed with beautiful weather, mild temperatures and not a cloud in the sky. The floral display in front of the Majestic Theater was just lovely. Construction was completed in 1897 when they opened their doors for the first time. Its neo-romantic edifice is stunning to behold and we feel so privileged to be able to have this experience. They had decorated all of the trees with lights and I can just imagine how stunning it would be at nighttime. The architecture was absolutely gorgeous and we're soaking in the beauty. We are sitting in our booth in the Opera House and the concert is about to begin. We'll share just a sampling for you to enjoy.
The concert was excellent and we thoroughly enjoyed the presentation. Now it's time to explore the theater and I still can't believe I'm really here. This magical place is just awe-inspiring. It really is impossible to capture the detail and beauty in pictures or video. We'll continue exploring with our friend Victor. Of course, New Year's is a major holiday in Italy and most families spend the day together eating special foods and making memories. A lot of folks chose to celebrate together at the theater. This architectural model of the Opera House is incredibly detailed and we simply could not stop looking at it. So gorgeous. Six Corinthian columns stand on a platform accessed by a grand staircase. Flanked by two large bronze lions. Well, it was time to leave and I'm so glad that I shot video to capture our special time. We take our time strolling back to the car as the sun is so warm and enjoyable and we just want to reflect on what we've just experienced. By now, Crosh and I are getting really hungry so we get in the car and drive to our friend's restaurant in the city. Carmen Pizzeria and Ristorante had a delicious New Year's Day luncheon. Ottavio and Graziella own this restaurant, and we met her at the Bayou di Carini one afternoon, and we struck up a friendship. Her family is from Carini. What a great lunch we had, but we ate a lot, so we decided to go someplace so we could walk. Croche wanted to go down to the marina. I had never been, so I was looking forward to it. A lot of people are enjoying a walk at the marina. I had dress shoes on, so it was a bit difficult in the stones, but it got easier when I got to the boardwalk. Seeing the familiar prickly pear and hearing the sound of the waves was so calming. We stood for a few minutes to enjoy the sights and sounds and the fresh sea air.
We feel incredibly blessed this day and we don't want to take God's goodness for granted. We know this for sure, we won't ever forget how we spent New Year's Day 2023. Wishing you all the best.